welcome back to KGF TV. I'm of course joined with Dad. Dad, how are you today? Tired, my old mate. I only had three hours sleep. Well, yeah, but at least you're not working tonight. And no. we are here with Arsenal player ratings. Arsenal 3, Benfica 2, a very topsy-turny, changey, chingy match. A what? A changey chingy. Topsy turny. Yeah, turvy. Topsy turvy. Topsy turvy. That's what I said, didn't I? Turny. Oh, I don't know, whatever. Turny. Changey chingy. Topsy, uh, topsy turny. Um, we are here. Um, a very good. I'm going to talk to you. You watched the first half, didn't you? I did. I watched the first break. half before I went to work. I thought we were <clears throat> the better Ball. team out of Ball. two. I thought it was. Ball. It was. It wasn't very good. The match in general, we were poor today. Yeah. We were poor, I yeah. thought we were the better team Yesterday in the first half. But um, I didn't obviously see the second half out to go. So there's going to be some uh, there's going to be some harsh player ratings, but also some good ones. Today. I see on oh, yeah, um, yeah. So I see the Sky player ratings. Uh, they're all sixes and sevens apart yeah, from Sabios. Obviously, obviously, you know they're going to be, aren't they? Because you've gone through in a big match. And before we actually get into the player ratings, um, Olympiakos. Olympiakos, yes. We Last know. year, obviously. So we're going to try. I think there's going to be some extra fight there, isn't it? To try we and get was some there, revenge. Wasn't we? Yeah, I think a Bamiang as well. Obviously, scored a really good goal, but missed that really good chance. Yeah. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to Olympiakos in two weeks. So um, yeah, but let's 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 ignore that. Let's get into the play ratings. Um, Dad, do you want to read them out? Because obviously you did really watch all the games. So. Okay, so I'll let you do the ratings. Yeah. I won't do them because obviously I only you see can the, do first the first half. half but yeah. Okay then. Okay. Burnt Leno. No chance with the goals. Not not with this first one I saw anyway. You've seen the, you've seen all. The I've seen the goal. I've yeah. seen the goals on my phone last. No week. chance for or, or iPad, eh? No, I took my phone. Oh, where's the so iPad? It's in there. Uh, A oh. new iPad, I might add. Six. I'll give Bird Leno. Yeah. Had nothing to do. No. Other than pick the ball out of the net twice. That's all I saw. Couldn't, nothing. Could do nothing with the free kick. Nothing with the other second goal. I see a lot of people blaming him for coming out, but you're gonna to have to come out for that. You have yeah, to come out. Yeah, of course out. he is. And something he didn't do is take out the defender, uh, the attacker. No, because he would have got a red card yes. and a penalty. So, so good from him. I'll give him a six. Okay, I'll uh, I'll agree with you there. I'll give him a six. Hector Bellerin. I thought he's one so of his. Poor. Yeah. You're gonna say one of his better. Games. Oh no! I thought he defended. Absolutely I thought he defended. Dreadful. Well, they yeah. I thought he defended okay. From what I saw, I didn't see the second half, so I can't comment. Yeah, no, but the thing is, right, defensively, you can't, you know, he did all right. Um, but attacking wise, he can't cross a ball. I don't understand why he's in the team over Ceballos. He wouldn't win a game of Norton Cross. I mean, my he? mate just said to me about 20 minutes ago if Bellerin wasn't a good looking person, he'd get a lot more hate. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> I don't understand that, but. Um, He's so bad. He's so. I, I don't want to say I hate him, but I don't like him. Cedric needs to get into the team more. Yeah. I'll give him a four. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give him a five. David Luiz. Poor again. Defensively, we did look poor. There was a lot of mistake In that second half, you didn't watch it. No. Nah. We were fighting for a goal, and we made mistakes after mistakes at the back. Couldn't pass the ball. It was dreadful, dreadful. Four. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. Four. Gabriel. He was also poor. Poor. Um, better than David Luiz. Uh, the amount of times he got David Luiz out of... I was going to say the S word then, but we can't swear. No. Stick. Um, I'll give him a five. I stick? Think. Stick. I was going to say S-H. I-T? Yeah. But yeah, I said it was stick. Yeah. Got David Luiz out of the stick. Okay, so what did you give him? Uh, five. Yeah, we'll go with the same. One more than Luiz. Uh, Kieran Tierney. Got a massive goal. A massive to make goal. It two two. Literally five minutes after they scored. I don't know if he didn't score that game over. I'm going to give um, him an eight. Just yeah, for the goal. I'll alone. give him an eight as well. Just for the goal. First half he was getting overrun because Smith Rowe wasn't tracking back. Um, but yeah, just for the goal alone, brilliant. And he's so. I mean, you see Tierney and then you see Bellerin. Tierney takes on his man, gets five or six crosses in a game, and yeah. they're wicked crosses. Bellerin will get one cross and it will hit the first man. As I said, Hector Bellerin wouldn't win a game of noughts and crosses. Exactly. Eight. Eight for Tony. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Granite Xhaka. Um, he didn't look too bad from the first half, I thought. Yeah, he was okay. Um, I always think he looks better with Thomas Party. Yeah. With Ceballos, he has to sit back. And I just think without Party, I think he's just too slow. He's too scared to give away the ball, so he plays backwards and sideways. But he did his job. I'll give him a six. Yeah, I'll give him a six then. Eh? All right. 
Danny Ceballos, Zero. worst game for Arsenal? Zero. He was, well... Zero. It was a ridiculous he was, free he, kick he to played, give away. He had a good first ten minutes. And then after that, awful free kick, lazy... Awful free kick, and then for some reason, he's why is he trying to head that back to the goalkeeper? Just head it away. Did he try and head it to him, or did he try and head no, it? No, you could see he tried to head did it back he? to the yeah. goalkeeper. He turned his head to head back to the goalkeeper. Yeah. If he jumped for it, and it was just a bit too high for him. You understand that, but he turned his head to head it back to the goalkeeper. I don't know. I, I thought he. I, I think he lost his bearings and didn't realise how far yeah, out he was. Zero. I'm going to give him a two. Oh, uh, no, no, yeah. no. It has to be zero. Emil Smith a row. I think, for me, worst game. What he's ever played since coming into the side, um, he doesn't suit the left wing. No, he's not a left winger. And Erdegaard, he's been playing too good though. It's it's hard, but you know, six months or a few months ago, sorry, we um, didn't have an attacking midfielder, and now we're debating two. I can't. I don't think they can play together unless you put Erdegaard on the wing. Is he quick enough? Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, that's fair enough. But um, I, th I'm gonna have to give him a five. Yeah, I'll give him a five for what enough. I saw in the first half. Now on Odegaard. Solid seven. I thought he played quite played well. Played a really good I ball see. to Aubameyang who scored and he was just offside. Did Ozil you see... S. Um, Ozil S. Did you see, did you see what he'd done when Aubameyang headed the winner? No. He was on his... He, he fell on his front and he was he was stamping, stamping his feet and banging on the ground. Right, on so that's what Sabah's usually does. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I rate it. It's passion. You'll have to have a look at it. When we're got, watching a bit. Yeah, it's passion it. and I love it from... I'm going to give him an eight. I thought he played quite Absolutely well. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll give him a seven. Yeah, he okay. played superb. Didn't give away the ball, and he tries to play quick football. I really do like him. <coughs> Saka, ten. He had a great game, didn't he? The, the funny thing is, is I don't think he did. I thought he had a good. As game. in, like for me, they doubled up on him. Yeah. And he was struggling in the first half, and he, he got a really good pass to Bamiang for the goal. He set both up, didn't he? Yeah, he set two up, yeah. and then and then I'll tell you something. Mikel Arteta brought on Lacazette, played two up front, which dragged one of the defenders to Lacazette, which gave Saka one on ones, and he it was a perfect cross, wasn't it? Yeah, perfect. perfect. Yeah. I Sons did see one. that. I did see that. Brilliant cross, good goal from Aubameyang. Yeah, Saka gets a ten. He, oh, I'm going to give him single handedly. I'm going to give him a nine. Really? Yeah. Single handedly won us that game. Uh, Orba ten. I'm going to give him a nine. You're not going to give anyone a ten? No. Why? Because. Um, 10, 10 out of 10. No. Yeah, because he, he was a perfect performance. I'm going to give him a 9. Ah, oh, that's outrageous. He scored Sorry. the opening goal and he scored the biggest goal. Yeah. And he could have had a hat. He scored another goal. Was he offside that He one? was just, just. Okay. I'll give him a 10. Yeah, that's better. I'll give him okay. both a just 10. For you. I'll Saka, give him both a 10. Saka and Aubameyang. 10 each. Are too good. 10-10 ten, ten, till we do it again. S sensational, honestly. And and it was an emotional match, and thank God for Aubameyang. Because, I mean, he, he had a poor first leg. He missed a sitter. Yeah, yeah. But he's come out and he's proven why he's playing. I knew we'd win this game anyway. Even at 2-1 down, I nah. knew we'd win. Five goals in, in, two, in three games for yeah. Aubameyang. So, fair play to him. Okay, into the substitutions now. William, come Eight. on. He didn't play that. Eight. That's one of his better games, I Eight. think. He, he changed the game. Yeah, he changed the game. He was the reason. He was one of the big reasons we won that game. He uh, gets slated every week, he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Um, and he just he just tracked back. He drove. He, he played a brilliant ball to Tierney. When people, some people would have just crossed that in. Yeah. He played a perfect, but I'll give him an eight. Adam Best Wilder. game for Arsenal. I'll give him an eight. And funnily enough, he came on against um, Manchester United and played really well. Yeah. I think he's slowly starting to... He just don't need him on his back. He should get off his back. Yeah, just give him a chance. Exactly, yeah. He's brilliant for Chelsea. Wow. New he was. He's one of their better players. That's good. Right. Party. Uh, I, eight. I didn't see. Came I didn't, on. I've seen nothing of him. Completely changed the game. We dominated the midfield as soon as he came on. Xhaka looked better. And, you know, when he's fit, I just, I just want him to be fit for the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah. He's absolutely so good. He's the best... Like kind of midfielder, kind of how he plays defensively, kind of in the in the in the Premier League. I'll give him an eight. I'll go with you and I'll give him an eight. Though I didn't see, uh, I, I do didn't see him play. Next. Okay, we'll do Laka next. Okay, my on. favourite. And I'll be honest, he didn't do anything. But what he did is he, like I said before, he bought the defender away from Saka because um, we went to a four-two-four. We played four attackers and. Saka got more space and he did his job. He did his job and um, I'll, I'll give him a standard five, but it was good from. I'm going to give him a six because he's my favourite. <clears throat> right, Chambers and Alan Enney. 
Did standard really, fives. Um, yeah. But Chambers did well when he came on. He won headers. I like him. I like well. him. He's a good player. It's just the injury, and he keeps getting injured. I do like him. Callum Chambers. I do like him as well. Yeah. Right, there you go. Uh, Mikhail Arteta. Uh, poor team selection. I think yeah. Smith Rowe should have started. He like, shouldn't have started. It should have been Pepe. And I think if. if Did Partey... Pepe not come on? No. Oh. If Partey's fit, for me, he should start. Yeah, definitely. Um, and he didn't start, and he started to buy us. But the subs made the difference. He brought on Willian. Yeah. And when you're two one down. Yeah, that's the last person you want to. Exactly, see. and I saw it, and I looked at Mum who was watching it, and I said, "That's it, done. I'm, I'm, I want him. I want him gone, Arteta." But he clearly sees something in Willian that some fans don't see, and I think he was good, in it and he did well. I give him a seven. Okay. I'll do. I'll have to go with yeah. the same because I didn't see it. The ref. Fine game, better than English referees. Yeah, we need so. these in our in our in our game. I'll give them a ten. What the ref? Yeah, man, the English referees are just so bad. Honestly, I'm happy to boost the foreign referees up. Couple of fouls, you know, here and there. I'll give them a seven for the first half of what I see. Is the thing is right? Is they let the game go? Yeah, they do. Yeah, don't keep and stopping and starting. English it. referees. I just think for me, I don't want to sound mean because I certainly am also. But I think they're so unfit. Even though they are, all and they over just waste. give and they just give fouls because they can't keep up with that, play. Yeah, I know. I don't so. want to sound bad, but I just no, it's uh, true. Yeah, you're spot. Yeah. Even the officials on the line Sh struggle. Seem yeah. a little and bit. VAR, more. the refs are just uh, VAR's good, but the refs are just so bad. Honestly, I don't yeah. like them at all. But yeah, there you go. So we've got Olympiacos next. Yeah, Manchester United got AC and Ch um, Tottenham. The old spuds. Z Zagbred. I, I think Tottenham got the easier draw again. Uh, nothing new there. Though. But we got. I think we got. We got a draw that we should be happy with. Yeah, we'll beat them. We should beat them. We didn't beat them last we time. We should have done but with without fans. I don't think they're much yeah. cop in in their Greek stadium. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. If you have enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below your thoughts on the Arsenal match and yeah. your thoughts on Olympiacos. Yeah. Um, make sure you subscribe. We're close to 150 subscribers. Uh, share it if you enjoy our content as well. And Dad, what should they do? Just before we do that, yeah. there'll be another video up in the morning, won't there? Yeah, there'll be another, another video Saturday League morning about prediction. 10 o'clock yeah, we'll before um, the, the first game. So, so yeah. yeah. So uh, what, what should, should they, they do? do? should all stay safe there. <laughs>